Today, on our way to work in Estes Park, we spotted this beautiful bull elk all tangled in wire mesh fencing. The fencing was not only caught up in his antlers, but also trailing behind him and his feet kept getting caught in the wire as he tried to walk. Estes Park Police and Colorado Parks and Wildlife were notified and officers kept tabs on the elk's location until a wildlife officer could respond with emergency equipment. Colorado Parks and Wildlife arrived, assessed the situation, and immediately drug immobilized the bull so they could free him of this awful entanglement. You can see the drug immobilizing dart in the hindquarters of the elk in this video. It took a few minutes for the tranquilizer to take effect, but once he was down and Colorado Parks and Wildlife officers were sure he was sound asleep, rescue workers moved in with wire cutters and worked quickly to free this bull. After a few minutes, the wire was off. Hallelujah and the wildlife officer gave a reversal drug to wake up the bull. Since the bull didn't wake up immediately, he administered a second dose of the reversal drug, and after just a couple more minutes, the bull was up. It probably took a little bit longer for him to wake up because he was exhausted after battling the wire for who knows how long. Once he got up, he was a little wobbly and unstable for a very short time, but it didn't take long till he was back on his feet and ready to find his harem and his herd once again. This story is a great reminder that the elk rut is underway in the Estes Valley, and when bull elk are pumped up with testosterone, anything that moves can be of interest to them. Swings, hammocks, volleyball nets, tire swings blowing in the wind all pose a challenge for the elk, and they'll approach these items and try to spar with them. The elk don't care who or what is in their way. Their goal is to pass down their genes to their offspring. This can be a very dangerous time for the bulls in our area as their antlers can easily become entangled in many items we have around our homes and yards. Please take a few minutes to look around your homes, yards, and businesses for these items that the elk might get tangled up in and put them in a safe place until the rut is over. A huge thank you to the elk bull heroes today, the Colorado Parks and Wildlife and the Estes Park Police Department who saved this bull from his entanglement.